Breakfast with Cobb Colvin. Trickstar Radio. That one there, our Trickstar Radio track of the week from Prescribe the Vibe. Nothing's the same. Um, out now on Kiwi Recordings. How are we feeling about that one? Yeah, no, that's, that is such a sick tune. It's really yeah. sick tune, man. I think I love the sort of like house garage like hybrid vibe of that. Defi- definitely, man. I yeah. think I think there's something very different about it as well. I like the fact yeah. Kiwi are very much kind of like expanding what they're doing. Oh, for sure. Um, yeah. And it's not necessarily just like flat out ravers sort of garage. Mm. A lot of it is very kind of introspective and it's very kind of like twi- like twisted yeah. and interesting. Um, but yeah, I mean that sort of garage sound is it something you're kind of catching on to at the minute? Yeah, no, for sure. Like I've got a few garage bits that I'm playing about with. Um, it's definitely something I want to produce more of. Like Kiwi, Kiwi's like one of my favorite labels for sure. Like they're just in bits. They every, are. They every are. Release, they're they're like, very yeah. much smacking. I mean, getting that sort of mix mag um, label of the year sort of yeah, appreciation yeah, yeah. is sick. And they've only been around for like a yeah, year. they haven't like, been around it's long. Crazy progression. But it's it's yeah. the uh, it's the sort of release. The way they do their release videos as well always yeah. gets. They're yeah. always like fun. Like their branding and, is yeah, it's, just, it's so it's, on point. It's, it's all sick. Yeah. Um, so let's let's talk a little bit more about the bars videos then, because obviously you are someone who seems to have a bit of a, a viral tendency, shall we say? Okay. Yeah. Because um, obviously we let these bars videos like you've done a, you've done the snow bars for one first yeah um, and yeah. as you've said it happened very organically you're just mm. out in the snow and then suddenly you went let's let's film a video and it, happened, yeah. it went well like what what happened from there um so the next one i actually filmed was brighton bars even though that came out last um i filmed that i think like june and that was like a very planned like because my mate sam does media production at uni shout out sam i think he's yeah he's listening in i think um and thank you sam he's <laughs> and he's like he's he's been getting like so sick at like filming and stuff um so we proper had like a camera and stuff there like pick that spot um and did it there but the the, the other two have just been also all got it like i was just in costa rica and like we were on the last day it's casual like, one. <laughs> <Costa Rica. laughs> yeah no i just had like a couple hours to kill uh, but me and my mate Tom just quickly filmed it. Um, so it's been like, yeah, very organic. Um, I haven't specifically written the bars for like each each sort of video, but I've just got these kind of catalogue of bars like written over the years. Sick. Um, so so are you, yeah. do you still find yourself writing quite regularly? Not really, if I'm honest. Like I I, I find it tough to like sit down and properly write, but I, I want to do more of it. Yeah, of course. Um, and I'm definitely hoping to like this year to like properly sit down and write to write like 64. Properly like, sit down and get some actual like... Uh, did, like spe- specific content that's, yeah that's, yeah that's for sort sure of yeah Definitely. like sort of like writing four beats rather than just in rather general, than going, like, this is a beat yeah. I'm going to put bars yeah. like, on the top yeah. of it I mean it, the, the progression on it's really cool to see I feel with the newer ones as well there's a lot more kind of like uh, there's a lot more tonality mm. with, with the kind of vocals you're putting across like you're actual you're actually pushing your vocal cords a bit further and you can sort yeah, of feel yeah. there's a bit more like sort of rawness to it yeah um, no, that's something I've, I've made a conscious effort to like work on like flow and like progression and like yeah just it sounds sick yeah. man it's, and it's, it's such a cool thing to have and again it feeds back into this sort of like virality theme yeah. um, which which I've noticed about a lot of the stuff you do um, yeah, the remixes right. tend to do really really well with like yeah, people sharing yeah, them for sure um, and then the most recently of course we've had this uh, one of the new singles you've had out on Second to None on their, um, on their, mm. their you've had two releases out in two weeks I believe it is yeah, yeah, with Second yeah. to None um, which is Vital Techniques label um, and the first track that came out with them Caterpillar kind of went mm. a bit mental on yeah on no I was well. not expecting that like um, Emerald he'd like big up Emerald she's been supporting like crazy recently like she did she just dropped it at one of her like afters with emeralds uh events um, and I just put the clip up wasn't really expecting much and it just blew up on like a Lego land and, and Facebook and it did really yeah. like blow up as yeah, well and, it sure. was like, and the clip yeah. the, the thing about the clip as well is it's not like a super high quality version of the audio either yeah, yeah it, it's yeah. very much like it, a, I think that's sort of why because it, it looks so organic yeah um, and like the crowd was like just having fun um, and like when you can see that on video, you like really. I think you really get invested. Yeah, if you see yeah. if you see people genuinely reacting to a tune and going, yeah, like, for sure. it makes you like the tune more. Yeah, immediately, yeah. and you can always tell when reactions are forced as well. You can all you can yeah, always tell. And I've got a bit definitely. of an issue with that when people are like filming videos for like reaction videos for yeah. tunes, and it's like. I, uh, it's not the same. Yeah, no, no. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like um, with with these two tunes, like how have you found working with um, Second to None? Yeah, it's been sick. They're, they're, they're a label I've wanted to work with for a while. Uh, so to get the call was like was a sick one. Again, it's this thing um, of getting the call, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> get the call yeah I'm really bad. At, I'm really bad at like reaching out to people and stuff. So like, yeah, but yeah. If, if you're getting the calls, you don't need to. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, but yeah, yeah, you've got two, both the uh, both the singles are out now. Caterpillar came yeah. out um, two weeks ago, and then you've had another. I think one. Wobbly's on Wobbly's out on Friday. I think. Wobbly's out this, yeah. this week. So yeah, yeah. cool. Um, so you've had so you've had uh, Caterpillar out. Which, yeah, was that, that was one week ago, a couple two of weeks ago, couple of weeks ago, and then you've got another one, Wobbly, which is um out this week. Like, are they very similar tunes? 
pretty similar. Like both like 140 sort of vibe, and they both have the sort of like like the sort of slide down sort of um, thing. Um, and it's definitely a vibe that you'll be hearing a lot more from me from. Definitely. Yeah. And I, th- I think it's really cool to see. Um, and also, we've had you... Uh, I mean, it's been a busy year, I've got to it, say. No, no, it's I've been, been a really yeah, busy year. Sure, um, sure. you've, you've finally put a vocal track out there. Yeah, yeah. No, I was so excited to do um, that. Which yeah. was a Trickstar Radio track of the week when it, oh, when it dropped. Um, yeah. And it's alongside Razor, and it's produced by Retrospect, I yeah. believe. So give me a bit of an introduction to this one before we jump into it. Yeah, like that was... Because I had... After the bars videos, I had so many people sort of asking, like, oh, could you put bars on this? And I, I made a conscious effort like, I really want to do it on the right place right platform with the right artists um, and 140 um, been doing a lot of stuff with them and they're always really cool and like to get to get the chance to kind of rap with Razor who's like one of my favourite MCs was just a sick did, it, when, yeah. when you were recording it, where you you recorded your bit, uh, um, actually in my house, yes, which yeah, was yeah. quite cool. Yeah. <laughs> which is quite, so I've known about this for ages. <laughs> yeah. so this is happening. Um, but yeah, with the uh, I found with the. Um, with the vocal, like, did you and yeah. Razor go back and forth with the with the sort of layout of it? Or was it pretty much you just put the vocals um, down? And so then, I had that sort of work? 32 verse, and then he made his, and then we sort of like, oh, we need a sort of hook. Um, so I had that sort of, like, what are you going to say? And he sort of just played off that. Um, and I think it worked, like, really well. It's got a sort of, like, yeah, quite a recognisable chorus to it now. Definitely did. Um, let's jump into it now, then. Don't go anywhere. We're live on Trickstar Radio. Waking up Brighton. Breakfast with Cobb Colvin.